So lately, I've been doing a lot of thinking about self-service business intelligence. In fact, it's what's getting me really excited at the moment, if you can't tell from some of these videos. And the reason for that is because the more you can enable end users to self-serve, the less pressure is put on you as a data analyst or as a business intelligence developer. So it's in your own best interests to help your business user help themselves. So with that, I've been thinking a lot about how you can get data from Power BI into Excel and what's the most efficient and effective way to do that. Um, and one of the obvious ways with Power BI is in the Power BI service, you can go ahead and you can download and analyze an Excel file, just like the one that I have up right here, right now. Now you see the problem with this is that there's a ton of fields in here that only really exist for the Power BI report. So if you just give an end user this file and you say, okay, here you go, here's your connection, go build, they will often kind of get lost bringing in things that are irrelevant to any kind of Excel-based analysis and that only exist to serve the Power BI report. Now, one way that you can do this is you can hide columns in your Power BI data set, but to be honest, that can be a little bit of, the pain, of a pain. So let's take a look at an alternative approach, one using perspectives in Power BI. Well, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, what, what is a perspective? A perspective is something that has existed in Power BI for a fairly long time, in part because it has existed in uh, Microsoft SQL analysis services. And so because Power BI is based on SQL server analysis services, it's existed. The problem is, is that previously the only way to create one would be to go through a tool like tabular editor here, right? Go to perspective and then define a new perspective. But that has all changed with the new TMDL editor. I told you it was going to be big in these last videos. You see, you can now create or define a perspective using TMDL and in that perspective, you can essentially add a small subset of either columns or tables or um, hierarchies or measures, right? And you can name it whatever you want and you can create a ton of different perspectives, right? So I could create a perspective called Analyze and Excel Projects, right? So on and so forth. And I can go ahead and I can run this and it'll add this perspective. Now, why does this matter for Analyze and Excel? You see, Power BI is under the hood, when you rip it all down, is based on SQL Server Analysis, or SQL Server Analysis Services. I always mispronounce that. And so what then happens when you're doing an Analyze in Excel is that you are essentially just querying the underlying Analysis Services data model in Power BI. And you can go ahead and you can edit that query. So in this case, right, I had already defined that new measure, right, by essentially saying, okay, here's a perspective analysis, analysis, analyze in Excel, include this column right here from this table, this measure right here from this table, this hierarchy right here from this hierarchy, so on and so forth. I can then go into my analyze for Excel. I can then go into this query that's currently showing everything. So I can go data queries and connections. Once it loads, I can then right click it, go properties, and I can go to my definition, right? And I, instead of having the command text be model, I can type analyze in Excel and click okay. And it'll switch my perspective in this analyze in Excel pivot table away from the one with all of the columns and things that we don't need people getting concerned about to just the relevant columns to that report that we selected in our perspective. If you're a Power BI fan, you can't tell me that that isn't cool and won't save you time. All right, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and liking it. I am working on a Learn SQL for free video series. The videos just take a little bit longer for me to prep, which is why I've been releasing so many Power BI videos. I can't quite 
produce them at the same rate as I can produce these. But that said, the TMDL that I showed in the video is gonna be linked in the GitHub down in the video description, as well as my playlist to my Learn SQL for Free video series. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good evening.